it working? I think it is. Hey guys, how are you? Welcome back to my channel. So I've got a little visitor today. Got Kiki with me and she's just nestled in my hair. Say hi, peep. I don't know how well this video is gonna go because she's, she's really snuggly at the moment. You wanna kiss? Kiss? but I was hoping to show you a few things um, that I got recently that I love. I just thought it'd be a nice fun video to make. Excuse the face, I have no makeup on, um, but it's just one of those days today. Really natural, lazy day. And I've got the Parrot Live TV on um, in the lounge room. Boston loves that channel. It's just like a live feed of um, birds. So he's occupied, hopefully. Okay, so I did get the Dictique Hourglass Diffuser. So this is the 34 Boulevard St. Germain scent with the yellow liquid. And it is a gorgeous piece and it is very, very strong, strong scent. I can see this lasting for a long time. So absolutely gorgeous. And I've got it sitting on my vanity happy 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 with that kiki's chewing my nail no kiki you're gonna ruin mommy's nails you can't do that behavior you can't do that behavior oh you don't get cranky at me oh yes you're gonna bite mommy tell them how cute you are say kiss kiss I'm a little birdie, short and spout. No, you're gonna take my nail off. Okay, she's getting cheeky now. She's gonna go up there. You stay up there. Really gorgeous piece, really happy to have it. Absolutely gorgeous. I do not regret having uh, this piece. This is a Fornicetti candle and I don't burn it because it just smells so divine. I don't burn it because obviously the birds and have a very sensitive respiratory um, respiratory system. So I don't burn candles. And if I do, it's usually very, very minimal. Um, so this one is probably my favorite design um, out of the whole range. This is the only one I have. Um, I just love this kind of, these archway windows and the blue and the black and the white, but the scent is also gorgeous. It's very kind of, it's almost medicinal. Um, it's, it's a little bit herbal. It almost smells like Vicks Vapor Rub, you know that stuff that you put on your chest to clear the nose? <laughs> Um, but I really love this and I think it's just a gorgeous piece. So another one that I wanted to share with you is um, the Chanel Rouge Coco Flash. Now I've had this for a while, but every time I wear it, I always think, oh my God, I keep forgetting to mention this in a video somehow. Um, it is my favorite lipstick. It's the Rouge Coco Flash lipstick in the color. 84 immediate. It's my only Rouge Coco Flash lipstick that I have. Um, I do plan on getting another color. There is um, been some new release colors recently, like the last few days. And there is one color there that I really, really like the look of. But this one is just a really gorgeous, glossy, um, warm pink shade. Can you hear that? That's the live bird feed I'm playing on the TV for the birds. And it's a cockatoo going crazy. So it's just a really pretty glossy, warm pink shade. And it's really flattering on my skin tone. And it's the kind of lipstick that just looks super pretty over dry lips. So if you have dry cracked lips, I always go for this lipstick just because of the finish is really nice. The next thing is the um, Gucci Beauty Powder, the new one that's just released. And I just wanna show you how gorgeous it is. This is the pink 
velvet case that it comes with which is super pretty and this is the compact here it's just beautiful baby pink and then it's got these vertical line around the compact with the gold oh it's so stunning so this color i got here is number nine i got it to use as a bronzer like a very warm bronzer So here it is, I've used it quite a few times now and it is a very warm bronzer, this is number 9 and it is matte, um, it's got very very fine micro shimmer in it and then underneath is this gorgeous velour puff, so it's just such a beautiful compact. And I'll give you a swatch of the color and the finish. So it is quite matte. I thought that I was going to get the right color for me um, to use as an all over finishing powder, but it's just way too matte and I prefer just to wear it as a um, just a bronzer at the back of the cheeks just to warm up the skin. A new eyeshadow quad that I got and this is number 31 Source Le Sable. It is a beautiful um, quad and the color combination here reminds me a little bit of the um, Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk. It's very warm, it's got a hint of pink um, tones to it and it's just super gorgeous. But I couldn't resist this quad, it is just so beautiful. So that's the kind of dark, deepest brown. That's the kind of light, you can't really see it, it's like a pinky beige. Um, that's the kind of coppery warm um, it's not too orange though, it's not too orange of copper. Um, and that's just another matte brown that's a little bit lighter than this one and a little bit more pink hue to it. So, absolutely love this. These are beautiful colors and probably my favorite Tom Ford quad so far. Okay, I'm gonna go with a skincare item and this is an oil i love my oils i do not do a skincare routine without an oil this is one that i've been using and this is the evlom oil it's got cannabis uh, sativa seed oil this is called radiance face oil i love it because it doesn't break me out doesn't give me white heads i have been trying the Amorvitsia oil um, which is a lot more expensive than this one and it gives me like little white heads when I use it so I prefer this one over that and you can see I've used quite a lot of it it's just a nice facial oil you can see it's quite runny so love a good oil um, and I will never do a skincare routine without my oil. And I use that, I use it at night before bed. It has got a very strong um, kind of essential oil in it, but um, you know, I'm going against the rules here <laughs> for myself, um, but I'm just gonna use it up. I do like it. I don't know if I'll repurchase it. There are a lot of good oils out there that are cheaper, um, but I, I am enjoying this. It's very nice. This is the Dior Prestige Cleansing Balm. Um, of course, I was attracted to the beautiful pink bottle. Nice square glass jar with a gold lid. This is a cleansing balm. However, it's not as thick as the Eve Lom Cleansing Balm. This is kind of more of an oily texture. So it's a pretty pink scented 
I call it an a balm oil because it is very um, oily and it's very nice. It also comes with the spatula. So I'll get a little bit out to show you the texture. Um, and see how it just is super oily. So it's basically a, an oil that's a little bit solidified. So it's a lot oilier and thinner and more melty than the Evelom. The Evelom can be a little bit hard to um, melt into the skin. I do prefer this one um, because the texture is just easier to work with. This is the Tatcha Kisu Lip Mask. It's just a little pot of gorgeous. So this is a gorgeous lip, they call it a lip mask, but I call it a lip balm. I do put it on my lips um, at the end of my skincare routine before bed. This is probably one of, well, so far the best lip um, product I've used. Um, the consistency, it comes with this cute little spatula. The consistency of this it looks like Vaseline, however, um, I don't know if you can see, it's, see it? It looks like Vaseline, it's not as, I call it creamier, it's nicer than Vaseline. Um, no, f not really any fragrance there. It's really, really nice. Um, much nicer than Laneige. I do not like Laneige. That is just, <clears throat> I've got severely dry lips. So Laneige, full of fragrance, a couple of bad things in there and it really just um, ends up drying out my lips over time. But this one is the best one that I found. You can just pile it on and it's you know it kind of stays to the lips and kind of lasts throughout the night even till the morning and i just wake up my lips are just my lips just love it so that is the tarcha i'm gonna mention a fragrance that i've been loving um the weather is really chilly here at the moment at night nice and warm during the day but chilly at night and i have a fragrance here that i want to share with you it is another one of my um, favorite niche fragrance brands um, these are made here in Melbourne you would have seen me talk about this one this is the Fort and Manly range um, Melbourne perfumer um, but I just ordered a few weeks ago when this was released um, you can buy their little sample trial kit uh, testers first um, and this is a new limited edition scent that was released called Meraki Meraki and this is a beautiful winter scent it is absolutely unbelievable all his fragrances are stunning oh they are so intoxicating. You guys, I think you really, really need to try these. Maraki opens up with kind of this, um, kind of like a peach, apple, um, and then it kind of turns into this warm vanilla, a little bit of leather. His, his mixes, sorry, I'm just thinking. His mixes are just stunning so i got the um my ipad to go through the fragrance notes of meraki so the notes are aldehydes uh, bergamot apricot uh, ambergris peach that's that first kind of the apricot and the peach is the um opening it's really really beautiful uh coriander rose osmanthus um honey Jasmine, cedarwood, musk, sandalwood, and patchouli. So it has got a quite a strong patchouli dry down, but with the apricot, the peach, um, the musk, sandalwood, you don't get a lot of jasmine um, 
and the aldehyde. Yeah, it's just a really pretty scent. So So this is the um, the website Meraki is the one that I love at the moment. Yep, so definitely check them out. Absolutely love Fort and Manly. You can buy like a discovery set. I think it's like eight or nine little mini vials, spray vials that you can try the scents. I think, uh, and it's very affordable for the quality of um, fragrance um, that you get. All right, my last thing is a nail polish. Um, I almost wasn't gonna share it with you because I'm not wearing it. Um, but I, I'm really into baby blues at the moment and this is stunning baby pastel creamy blue color from Chanel. It's called Blue Pastel. So really gorgeous baby blue. So that is everything I have to share with you. I should be doing a... Oh, I bought a new camera, a Sony, so I can retire my iPhone and have better quality, you know, just better lighting and everything. So I can't wait to try that when I get it. And I have a probably maybe a beauty haul coming up. We shall see. So I hope you enjoyed that, guys. Um, if you have any questions or recommendations, please put them down below. Um, also, um, follow me on Instagram. Sometimes I just do um, little in-between unboxings and stuff like that um, in the meantime. So, yeah, check it out. I will put it somewhere. Take care and I will speak to you soon. Bye.